Okay, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about the CG or center of gravity of the airplane. The manual says that the CG is 75 millimeters from the leading edge of the wing. And the CG machine is what I always use. It's a great plane CG machine, works very well. Use it in all my videos. And so I have the arm here. Uh, the front is touching the uh, front of the wing, and it has both uh, inches and, and millimeters on the uh, ruler there, and so it's set for 75 millimeters on both sides, and um, the CG looks pretty good. But in order to get that CG, the first test I made, um, I had the battery in the center of the um, battery compartment, <clears throat> and it was two nose heavy. So I moved the battery all the way to the back of the, I won't call it all the way to the back, there's probably a quarter inch or something like that behind it. Um, but I moved the battery to the back, reattached uh, it into the Velcro, and uh, now it's centered. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is, I'll go ahead and take this off. Um, I'll show you what the battery looks like right now. Take it off here. So you can see the battery is, um, uh, it's probably three quarters of an inch back from the back, so I could have gone a little bit further. But what I'm going to do is mark with a Sharpie marker here uh, the position of the battery in the uh, battery case with, with it centered. Okay, so I'm going to mark here. And here, with a Sharpie marker, so that each time I put the battery in, I know, based on this Sharpie marker here and here, that that's where the battery should be, okay? And I have Velcro on the battery, so the battery is being held by the Velcro um, on this tie wrap and then tied down so it won't move. Um, and so that's how you get the center of gravity and uh, and then remember exactly where you put your battery in, in order to uh, repeat that every time because you want the center of gravity to be, to be the same and you have to put the battery in the same position every time because that battery will make a huge difference uh, on the center of gravity. By the way um, one more thing I forgot to explain is what's a CG machine. The CG machine looks like this. It's from Great Plains. You buy this at Tower Hobbies, and it's a great tool for making sure the CG is accurate. Uh, I'll remind for people that don't know what a CG machine is or what center of gravity really is all about. Um, there's a small range, usually uh, less than half an inch on either side, uh, for the center of gravity to be correct. If it's too tail heavy or too nose heavy, it just won't fly right. It'll bounce all around and, and you'll have a really difficult time. Um, and so uh, using a machine like this, that rather than your fingers or holding it up, is more accurate. You can probably do it with your fingers. Uh, if you're gonna do it with your fingers, put a mark, uh, uh, the proper distance on either side uh, of the fuselage back from the beginning of the wing and um, so with the sharpie marker mark it and then hold it with your fingers uh, if that's all you got that's going to work um, and then adjust the battery back and forth as I said uh, to, to um, I had to adjust my battery back toward the back of the battery compartment and uh, but if you want to invest in a really good um, uh, tool for measuring the CG. This isn't a bad price on Tower Hobby. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for additional videos.